hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to read data from ms word application using power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started here you can see that this is my word application right and from this application what i want to do is i want to read data from this file and i want to extract these information for example first name last name country and gender right to extract these information what i will do is i will go back to the power automate desktop and to open the ms word file what i will do i will use run application okay and here i will pass the path of the file okay and i'll paste the path and remove the double quotes and here i will set the style as maximized and i want to wait for the application to load and i'll also specify the timeout for this application okay i will click on save and then what i will do is because my this word file is already opened i will close it now what i will do is i will right click on it and then i will click say run from here now you can see that my file is opening and the file is open now now i will go back to the power automate desktop now what i want to do is i want to send a key right why i want to send a key because i want to select all these information right and then i want to copy it for that i will go back to the power automate desktop and i'll go to the mouse and keyboards and then i'll drag and drop the send keys and i want to send key on that particular file right so what i will do is i will use title and or class and then from the title i will in the title i will type sample word and i can put the star right to replace any other character i just want sample or and after that any other word or character can come so that will not affect the functionality of my robot here i can specify the class for now i will put the class as a star okay and to send a key what i will do is i will go to the insert select control and inside it i will specify a because i want to select all of it and for that i will put that key inside a curly bracket right now i will click on save I will right click on it and say run from here now you can see that the bot has selected all the data from that ms word file right i will go back to the power automate desktop and here i will again drag and drop the send keys or i will just copy it and paste it this time what i want to do is i want to copy this information right so first i have selected all the data and second i have copied it right 
and once that is done I have an activity for the clipboard data right so I will use get clipboard text right that will be stored in the clipboard text variable so now what I will do is I will right click on send keys run from here Here I selected all the information, copied it and stored in the clipboard text. Here you can see that I have all the data in the clipboard text, right? Now let's say you want to get the first name, right? So what I will do is there is an activity which is called as crop text. In the source I will specify clipboard text I want to get data between the two you know flags so first is first name and the, then I have a colon in the end flag I can specify last name and in the crop text I can name it as first name right I will click on save I will just check in the clipboard text if it is just like that so it is first name and the last name so when I will run this board what I will get is I will get Mike okay so I will right click again from sign keys I will go back to the Power Automate desktop and in the crop text you know in the first name variable you can see that the data is Mike similarly if I want to extract the last name what I can do is I will take this my source data which is clipboard text and to get data between the two flags what I will do is this time I'll specify last name and the end flag will be country and if I want to keep the colon that I can keep if I do not want I can just remove it I can also select the ignore case in case you are not looking for a data based on the case of the text and this time I will specify last name right now this time when I will run it I will get last name in the last name variable execution has completed and in the last name you can see that it has Christine right so this is how you can you know open the word application in power automate desktop and also you know you can copy all the text and it's stored it in the clipboard text and then you can extract the information whatever is needed for you to extract from that file and that you can use for further processing in your process so let, let me do one thing I will close the MS Word file I have closed the word application or that file which I wanted to open now what I will do is I will run it from the beginning before that what I will do is I will just drag the you know message box and I'll keep it here and I will choose first name I will give it a label which is like first name and then here I will give 
last name as a label and I will search for last name variable right consider that you also want to trim the data in case if there is any space so what you can do is you can go for trimmed so it will just trim the data it will remove the space from the beginning and from the end of the text and also if you want to convert this text into you know in upper letter you can just look for go to two upper and then you can select dot trim so this time what it will do is it will just trim the data or let's just remove it and do it again so it will trim the data convert the case into the you know upper letter upper case and then again to trim it here i want to keep the message box always on the top i'll just keep it that way and then i will click on save now i will run the bot or before that what i can do is i can you know reduce the timeout so i'll just keep it 10 seconds i'll click on save and then i will right click and say run from here so the my file is open now it will select all the data copy it and get the data from the clipboard and then it will extract those information and here you can see that it has you know extracted the first name and last name first name is as it is but in the last name what it has done is it has converted that you know data into upper letter and also trimmed it right so this is how you can uh, read data from ms word file in power automate desktop and also extract information that is required for you so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day